In this lecture, I am going to describe to you the Dick language. It's named after the German mathematician Walter von Dick, uh, who pioneered uh, the study of groups um, using um, generators and relations, uh, in particular trying to express elements of a group as words. So the language itself is uh, quite simple to describe, uh, but it has a lot of interesting combinatorial properties as well as uh, it plays an important role in the um, classification of uh, context-free languages. So in this language, uh, the alphabet consists of two very special symbols, just uh, open parentheses and closed parentheses. And in fact, uh, the Dick language is uh, the language consists of well-formed parentheses. It means sequences of parentheses uh, that are well-formed. So what does we mean by well-formed? So for example, this is well-formed, but this is not well formed. If you were uh, writing a mathematical expression and trying to um, use parentheses to uh, explain which operation should be carried out first, uh, the first one would be a valid uh, system of parentheses, whereas the second one would not. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, uh, let's look at some examples before we get to the formal definition. So let's look at uh, well-formed words of length n for small values of n. So if n equals 0, well, the only well-formed word is the empty word of length 0. If n equals 1, then you can either have an open parenthesis or a closed parenthesis, but not both. So if n is equal to 1, you cannot have any uh, well-formed parentheses. In fact, this is true for any uh, odd number. Uh, every open parenthesis should be matched by a closed parenthesis. If n equals 2, then you just have again one possibility. You have to start with an open parenthesis and uh, end with a closed one. If n equals 4, uh, you have uh, the following choices. You can either uh, open close open close or you can do open open close close and let's just do one more n equals six in this case you can start with open close open close open close open close open open close close and then we can have open open close close open close and open, 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 close, close, close. So there are um, four uh, well-formed uh, parentheses of length six. So let's write down the rules formally. W equal to A1 AK belongs to L. F. So each of these AI is either open parentheses or closed parentheses for every I equals 1 to K. Just saying that it's a word in this alphabet. And then um, for every, uh, if you look at every initial uh, segment of this string, uh, it's going to have more open parentheses than parentheses than closed parentheses. So what I'm saying is that for every uh, one less than or equal to i0 less than or equal to k, the number of times open parentheses occurs in um, this uh, initial segment a1 i0 exceeds or is not less than so is greater than or equal to the number of times closed parenthesis occurs 
in a1 up to ai0 and the last condition is that every open parenthesis parenthesis should be matched by a closed parenthesis so the number of times open occurs in the full word is equal to the number of times closed occurs in the full word. So these um, conditions uh, describe the language of tick words. And of course, as we've already observed, ln, this last axiom implies that if ln is non-empty, that means if there is a word of a uh, dick word of length n, then this means that n is even for some non-negative integer k. Uh, there's a way to visualize uh, dick word and that uses dick paths. It's somehow easier to look at pictures than to read uh, strings of open and closed parentheses. So dick path is a path consisting of two kinds of steps. Uh, they are called northeast steps. So a northeast step is what? It's something like this. You have a point and uh, which is like uh, I uh, maybe I'll call it A, B. And the next point is a plus 1, b plus 1 in the Cartesian plane. And it also consists of southeast steps. So these will correspond to open parentheses and closed parentheses respectively. a, b goes to a plus 1, b minus 1. And uh, the other properties of such a path is it starts at 0 comma 0 ends at uh, n comma 0 so if i want to say dick path of length n and the last condition is um always lies above the x-axis. So let me just uh, show you an example of how we associate a dick path to a well-formed sequence of parentheses. So let's take this well-formed sequence of parentheses, open, open, closed, closed, open, open, closed. Okay, so here's a well-formed uh, 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 sequence of parentheses, which, uh, okay, it's a dick word. And what we'll do is we'll associate to it uh, a dick path. So you start with the point 0, 0. And now the first letter is an open parenthesis. So you go for a northeast step. The second is an open parenthesis. Again, you go for a northeast step. Let me move this down a bit so that I have enough space. And the third is again an open parenthesis, so another northeast step. Now you come to two closed parentheses, so I take two um, southeast steps, then open parentheses, northeast step, closed parentheses, southeast step, and finally closed parentheses, southeast step. And where did I end up? I ended up at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, comma 0. So this belongs to... Um, ln and this is a dick path of length well l8 and this is a dick path of length 8 and the properties of the dick path well every letter being either open parenthesis or closed parenthesis means that every step in the dick path is either northeast or southeast so open parenthesis corresponds to northeast step Closed parenthesis corresponds to southeast step. Okay, so this is the dictionary. 
and uh, so <clears throat> so the uh, the second condition that the number of open parentheses at any in any initial segment of the word uh, is at least as large as the number of closed parentheses corresponds to the condition that the path always lies above the x axis you've gone up uh, at least as many times as you've gone down so you're above the x axis and the fact that it ends at n comma 0 says that the number of times open parentheses occurs in the full word is equal to the number of times the closed parenthesis occurs in the full word and uh, that just means that you go up exactly as many times as you go down once you've finished uh, reading your word and that says that the dig path actually ends at the x-axis so here we can for example where we've drawn all these um, uh, we've, we've actually enumerated all the uh, dick words we can also draw the corresponding dick path so here this corresponds to this they look like little mountain ranges and the second one looks like go up two steps come down two steps these four uh, look like well let's just insert some space here oops let me draw these so this one looks like three little hills this one looks like one small hill and one slightly bigger hill this is big hill and then small hill and this last one is a single really tall hill so these are all um, the dick parts okay so now let's see how we can try to uh, count all the dick parts of length 2n so here's a theorem um, l is equal to epsilon plus x squared cross L cross L as a combinatorial class and uh, how do we do this well uh, if we take an element here then it is it consists of two uh, dick words w1 and w2 and we need to map it to a single dick word and uh, of course it could also be that you have the empty word so you will map that to the dick word of length zero with no steps at all the empty uh, uh, dick word but uh, if you have a no if you start with a pair like this then you can map it to the dick word where you take w1 and enclose it in parentheses and then concatenate w2 so for example if out here i have uh, w1 is uh, this and w2 is uh, this then w1 w2 will go to the dick word um, so i must take the first thing and enclose it in parentheses and then the second okay let's just do it in terms of dick parts so here maybe i should use square brackets just to not cause too much confusion here this is not part of okay so what what happens in terms of dick paths so this corresponds to the dick path with one small hill this corresponds to the dick path with two small uh, with two small hills and what i'll do is i'll take i'll take this little dick path and raise it up so i will add uh, this piece here and then I will attach the second dick path. So this here is the first dick path and this here is the second dick path. Over here, this here is W1 and this here is W2. 
Okay, and uh, okay, so that's that's uh, a map going one way from the right hand side to the left hand side. How do we go back? So, given an arbitrary dig path, uh, you look for the first time it touches the x axis. So, for example, suppose I have a dig path which looks like this. Now, if you look at the x-axis, um, right, so, so it touches the x-axis uh, exactly at uh, two points. It could touch it at many points, but let's look at the, well, three points. Let's look at the first time it comes back to the x-axis. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Okay, so this is my original dig path. So what you do is um, you you look for the first place where it touches the x-axis after 0, 0. And then what you do is, of course, this first step would have been upward. This step would have been downward. And since this is the first step place where it touches the x-axis, everything in between these two would be uh, above the line y equals 1. So what you can do is, you can take this part and call it uh, the first, uh, you know, you can call it the dig path of W1. So let's take this path. And the other one will be what remains after it touches the x axis. And that is exactly the inverse of the map we defined uh, from the right hand side to the left hand side. I'll, I'll leave you to uh, think about the details and maybe write down a detailed proof of this result if you feel it's necessary. But now what do we have in terms of generating functions? The generating function is given by Lx equals so if you look at this what is it saying it's saying lx is 1 plus x squared times l squared so uh and what we know is that this lx will only have even powers because there are no terms of uh there are no dick paths or there are no dick words of odd length so we can write um, lx is equal to uh, c of x squared which we can call uh, c of u right writing u is equal to x squared then what we have is c of x oh uh, sorry c let's write like this c of u is is equal to 1 plus u times c of u squared and this by now should be uh, familiar to you as the Catalan generating function. So what we have is the number of Dick words is equal to the number of Dick words of length 2k is equal to the kth Catalan number. If it is the Catalan number, I wonder why I only had um, four dick words of length six. Shouldn't I have had five? Well, I must have missed out something. So let me see. Oh, yeah. What about this one? So what does this look like? The dick path corresponding to it is two ups, one down, one up, and then two downs. So there are, are totally five of length six.